Here's more wrestling news for December 10th, 2021. And your headlines for this afternoon include Pat McAfee signs massive deal with FanDuel, Karrion Cross returns to wrestling amidst retirement rumors, real reason why Scarlett Bordeaux hired WWE, MJF has the time of his life after AEW Dynamite went off the air in Long Island, Anthony Bowens comments on homophobic slur uttered by fan at AEW Dynamite, Wrestler files official complaint against police in Mexico City. Ruby Soho and Ethan Page raise over $8,000 for charity. Shawn Michaels believes fans hold NXT 2.0 stars to an unfair standard. Trent returns to action during AEW Dynamite. And more. We are kicking off with Pat McAfee, who has signed a massive deal with FanDuel. The new deal is reportedly worth around $30 million a year for the SmackDown commentator's hit show, The Pat McAfee Show, in what the New York Post are calling the richest talent deal in sports media history. In a video announcement, McAfee said the deal is for four years, with an opt-out clause after three years, and McAfee indicated that his new deal with FanDuel won't impact his job with WWE. In that same announcement, McAfee revealed that he's donating a few million dollars to various causes and organizations, as well as giving significant bonuses for his crew, as the SmackDown commentator is realizing all the hard work people have put in to earn him this incredible deal. In November, Karrion Cross was released from WWE, which came as a shock to fans. After a dominant run in NXT and a shaky start on Raw, Cross was finally starting to find his footing on the red brand, but is now waiting out his 90-day non-compete clause. Cross can't wrestle elsewhere, but we do know when one of his next matches will be, as he'll be working for Qatar Pro Wrestling Super Slam 3 on March 19th, 2022. That was confirmed by QPW President Ali Al Marafi, who told Lucha Libre Online that an agreement has been made with Cross to be at the biggest wrestling event in Qatar's history. Cross is the latest big name on the loaded show as Bret Hart, Booker T, Sting, Eric Bischoff, and John Moxley have all been announced, and with over three months to go before the big day, we'll have to see which other legends fill the Ali Bin Hamad Alatia Arena and whether Super Slam 3 will be streamed online. Perhaps Scarlett Bordeaux will make the trip to Qatar with her fiancé, as she too was cut from WWE last month. The Smoke Show was with WWE for two years but never had any televised matches, with her one and only in-ring appearance being a SmackDown Dark match with Shotzi Blackheart. Instead of wrestling, Bordeaux spent all her time on TV as a manager, and this is what WWE had planned all along. During a virtual meet and greet hosted by the Asylum Wrestling Store, Bordeaux spoke about her WWE run, saying, I always wanted to be able to do everything, but managing has always been my favorite thing. So originally, I was hired specifically to be a manager, which I was super excited about. And then I was always open to doing everything. I love bumping, I love wrestling, and naturally, throughout every place I've worked at, eventually it transitions into wrestling. There had been reports that Bordeaux would eventually transition into being a wrestler in WWE, but that never happened, as her tenure was cut short before she could make an impact in the ring. Now that her 30-day non-compete is up, Bordeaux has wasted no time getting back in the ring, as she hit an impressive Canadian destroyer at a recent indie event, and she'll now have plenty of opportunities to wrestle again now that she's out of WWE. AEW news next, as the company has always had a great relationship with his fans, but there are some bad apples who spoil things for everyone. During this week's Dynamite, a fan could be heard yelling a homophobic slur towards Anthony Bowens as the acclaimed teamed with 2.0 to face the Varsity Blondes and Jurassic Express. Bowens, who is openly gay, has now responded to the incident as he tweeted that slurs like this unfortunately still exist and he'll keep fighting against homophobia until the day he dies. The acclaimed star also referenced a recent photo he posted in which he's kissing his boyfriend in front of homophobic protesters. Bowens, unfortunately, isn't the only person to receive verbal abuse from the fans, as Nyla Rose was also subjected to transphobic comments during AEW Rampage, while Riho was subjected to racial slurs during her match with Jamie Hayter. These sorts of comments shouldn't be at any wrestling event, and hopefully these three wrestlers won't be subjected to any similar comments the next time they appear on AEW programming. In September, Ruby Soho joined AEW and has made an impact in their women's division, but arguably her biggest feud hasn't been on screen. Instead, Ruby has been engaged in a war with Ethan Page over their two favorite convenience store chains, with shirts being made representing their preferred choices. 
The AEW stars got into the battle between Bucky's and Sheets, with Paige rooting for Bucky's and Soho supporting Sheets. These shirts were then sold, with all proceeds going to charity, as Soho raised $1,830 for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which was followed up with an additional $1,000 donation by Cody Rhodes, while Paige raised $5,625 for OneParent.org. Now that she's lost, Soho's punishment is that she'll have to set foot inside of Bucky's, but despite her defeat, it's great that she and all ego Ethan Page were able to raise a ton of money for those in need. More from AEW as MJF has established himself as a pillar of the company, being one of the most easily hateable heels in the business. Though he's almost always hated, MJF had love from his hometown of Long Island, New York on this week's episode of Dynamite, making it to the final two of the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal against Dante Martin. The fun didn't stop when the show went off the air though, as after Dynamite, MJF came back out and cut a promo. Walking out to Billy Joel's My Life, the salt of the earth had the time of his life, much to the delight of those in the arena and fans on Twitter. MJF will look to become a three-time Dynamite Diamond Ring winner next week at the Winner's Coming episode of Dynamite, and despite his love of his hometown crowd this week, we expect a much more frosty reception for him on next Wednesday's show. Since NXT's revamp into NXT 2.0, the paint-splattered brand has received a lot of criticism, especially from fans who preferred the original version of the show. It hasn't helped matters that WWE's efforts to pitch the show to the late teens to early 20s fanbase has backfired dramatically, with the average age of NXT 2.0 viewers well into their 60s. Speaking to TV Insider, Shawn Michaels, who works as a coach in NXT 2.0, spoke about the latest roster, which includes the likes of Braun Breaker, Von Wagner, and Grayson Waller, and said they're held to a much different standard than those of the original NXT. I think they get held to an unfair standard. Nobody likes change. I know that was very tough. I thought War Games was a fantastic show. We put a lot of our young guys in a really tough spot. We threw them in the deep end like we've been doing the last 10 weeks. For all the criticisms NXT 2.0 has received, the show is certainly pushing new names who WWE hopes to be the next top names on the main roster, but there's plenty of fans who liked things just the way they were. And we're ending with more from AEW, as Trent has returned following a lengthy hiatus due to neck surgery. Returning at this week's Dynamite in Long Island, Trent's mother Sue was there to drive him back into the action, and he had the crowd behind him in a big way. Clearing the heels out of the ring, Trent dispatched the likes of the Young Bucks and Adam Cole, and there was a heartfelt moment where the faces hugged it out. Chris Statlander was on hand to help Sue to the ring so she could enjoy the moment with her son, and after his scary neck injury which required neck fusion surgery, we are thrilled to see him back in the ring. Well guys, that's our news for today, please share your comments below! Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications! And as always, thanks for watching!